In today's video, we're gonna submit a new podcast to the new Apple Podcast Connect website. Here's how we do it. First, we're gonna go and grab our feed from casos.com and click on add new show. We're going to add the existing show because it's an RSS feed. It's already hosted at Castos. Uh, we're gonna paste that link right here. So we'll paste that link right in. And then we're gonna make sure that we check off make my feed publicly available. This is what's going to allow other podcast distribution sites to pick up uh, on this and also every, anyone to subscribe to it on Apple Podcast. There's still some uncertainty to what this really affects in terms of openness and searchability. Uh, Apple Podcast Connect has been quite a mess since they launched a couple weeks ago. And then we're going to leave uh, user access, give everyone access. This is much more for the management side of it if you're letting somebody else manage uh, your podcast. Okay. So we've added in our RSS feed and we're gonna click on add. We'll give that a second. Apple will do its thing and apparently log me out. Okay, uh, as you can see, Apple's still having some strange issues when using Podcast Connect. Uh, once your show is submitted, you'll be in a draft mode uh, as Apple does its thing, uh, whether that's some AI driven uh, scanning of the site, making sure everything's working or someone is checking things in the back end, making sure that a human, that is, uh, making sure that the show is legit. So things you want to pay attention to, of course, watching the indicator up top, letting you know when this is going to be uh, published. It'll be, uh, show, you'll show a green icon when it is published. We'll look at what that looks like in a second. You'll see your RSS feed, which you've uh, pasted in. At any point, you could edit this if you wanted to or completely remove it or make it unavailable at, at a given time. You'll see when it was last updated, maybe the data that you're adjusting here will be last updated. Then we want to fill in some of our uh, information. What's interesting is that Apple asks for this stuff now. Uh, they're also going to ask for a phone number, which wasn't always the case uh, in the past. So you'll go ahead and put in your phone number. Okay, once Apple goes and refreshes the feed and reviews the data and the information that you input, your show will eventually go live. It'll switch from draft to published. And you'll be able to see all of the feed details, which we'll look at in a moment. But just from this screen here, you'll have some other stuff that you can fill out, like availability and rights, make the show available in all countries or regions. Uh, we want to make sure that that's checked off. Content rights, this show does not contain third-party content or this show has rights to its third-party content. Uh, you can click more about the content rights on that link above. Generally, for most people, it might be like intro music, outro music that you have this licensed music that you're able to use. So I'm just gonna say this show does not contain any third-party content. And when do you want to release it? Which is pretty laughable right now because a lot of people are still waiting for shows to publish since they've, in, since they've input them you know, weeks ago. So we'll leave the release the show as soon as it's published and hit save. And then ratings and reviews. Uh, obviously this is a brand new show, so there's no ratings or reviews here, but this is going to give you a screen to see all of those ratings and reviews, which I can't recall if they had that in the last one. If they did, it was buried pretty deep uh, in um, some of the other settings uh, in the old podcast or iTunes Connect as it was for, referred to as. So once we get to uh, the approval phase, you can see that this data has refreshed just in a few seconds here as we've clicked through some of the uh, Podcast Connect screen. Now the details are being filled out. Apple's going out, scooping up this information from your RSS feed. And you can see that the category, the name, the artist, the description has all been pulled down from our feed. Uh, we have an, a unique ID. There's no channel at the moment because we haven't set up an Apple uh, Podcast Connect channel. And then it's going to ask for your update frequency. We'll say no set schedule. <laughs> this is also interesting to see, uh, you know, this option. This wasn't in the old iTunes Connect. This could possibly be for a new way of searching, a new way of filtering podcasts, um, or just another unique identifier to give the audience uh, the insight to when these podcasts come out. Uh, categories, explicit content or not, it isn't. Uh, and this is controlled, uh, this is a field controlled over at Castos or wherever you host your podcast feed, the language, the website, etc. Let's save one more time. And now, since this information has been scooped up and we filled out the availability and rights and we've got all of our other personal information in there, the button to submit for review is available. So we'll click that. And once the podcast is published and 
all of your information is filled out. This is what the screen will look like. I've switched accounts, actually. What has happened is uh, I've already had this podcast approved on another account show, so I could show you the uh, submission, uh, submission process. And this is what it looks like. A completely filled out uh, profile, the podcast artwork, and the green published icon to let you know that the show is, in fact, published and searchable on iTunes uh, or Apple Podcasts. And then when you go into your episodes section, you see all of the, the episodes that have been published for your podcast. So uh, depending on when you're watching this, the podcast connect submission process is still kind of shaky. We don't know how these things are getting approved. There's still some loss of content and weird things that are happening uh, two weeks later. Now, a lot of uh, notable podcasters have been talking about this. Places like Pod News have talked about this. Uh, that we're still uncertain and we're still uh, unclear on when Apple's really going to smooth out this process. So you might have to try a few times, you might have to refresh a few times, but that is largely the way to submit your podcast to Apple. That's what it looks like, that's what it feels like, at least on May 5th, 2021. Uh, it is painless to get into, right? You create a Podcast Connect account if you don't already have one. It's a generally your uh, Apple ID. If you don't have an Apple ID, you can create an Apple ID for free. And then you log into Podcast Connect, drop in the feed like I showed earlier in the video, hit submit, fill out your information, save and submit for review, and then eventually it will get uh, approved. Again, no timeline on when the approval process actually happens. Could be immediately. I've seen it happen immediately. I've seen it happen in days, many days to a week where these podcasts are getting approved. So that's where we're at in May 5th, on May 5th, 2021 with Apple Podcasts Connect. Have any questions? Leave us in the comments. Leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. We'll see you in the next video.